And we are back now on Bay Sunday. He is a community activist, a filmmaker determined to make a difference at one of San Francisco's somewhat forgotten neighborhoods, Hunter's Point. He received high acclaim for his 2003 documentary, uh, Straight Out of Hunter's Point, it's called, and now a follow-up nine years later. It's a frontline look into the devastation, some of the violence, the drug use, and the poverty that has embraced this once vibrant community here in San Francisco. Here to chat with us now is the man behind the lens and everything, Kevin Epps. Kevin, welcome. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Well, you grew up there. How is this community? Has it changed since you were a, a child? Uh, it Hunter's has Point? changed. It has changed a lot. I mean, as any kid, it's a very vibrant community. A lot of kids, a lot of parks, a lot of activity around, you know, the community and recreation. But over the years, you know, a lot of different things changed. A lot of the, you know, the inequities became apparent when some of the youth kind of got out into the communities and, you know, the other blighting things started to surface. And, you know, that happened in the community over the past few years for sure. And when did you decide that I want to make a difference? And, and you, I know what, seven, eight, nine years ago, your first uh, documentary came out. How come? Well, I always wanted to make a difference. You know, I was always that kid that tried to be a positive something. Mm -hmm. And as I evolved and got involved with different community orga organizations and, you know, initiatives around, you know, empowerment and it uplifting the community, it was just a, a something that I always had an aspiration for as well, to tell stories, to make films. And as I grew, I had the opportunity to get involved with the Film Arts Foundation and Public Access Television, which offer programs in filmmaking and just hands-on uh, access to all this technology. And I sort of embraced it and got up under the wing of some of the other filmmakers, independent filmmakers that were doing great things and, and just picked up everything I needed to know. Well, the documentary came out about a year ago, you said? Uh, yes. About a year ago. Not it's quite getting... a year, but... Well, people love it. Uh, let's, we've got a little clip from it, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. So uh, here's a little clip from uh, straight out of Hunter's Point 2. In the late 90s, a neighborhood concert featuring rappers from Big Block and West Mob, the two dominant gangs in the Bayview Hunter's Point, goes back. Tensions between the two gangs escalate. A mediation attempt turns deadly. The death toll surges as the gang warfare heats up. There are 22 shootings, eight of them deadly. Big Block, the larger of the two groups and with superior firepower, is winning. In August of 2001, a joint SFPD-FBI strike force, armed with arrest warrants, launches a massive sweep against Big Block. Their biggest catch? Booby. His arrest and those of others decapitate Big Block's leadership. The younger generation gangsters, police say, have a different attitude when it comes to pulling the trigger. Well, what's been the reaction in the neighborhood to that? Um, I haven't screened the film in the neighborhood. That's what we're excited about. This is the first premiere uh -huh. in the community that but inspired the film. But they know about it. They know what's out there. What, what's been the reaction uh, from it's, it's family? A lot, it's very demanding. People want to see it in the community. They've heard about it in this theater, in this film festival, and it's all these places. They want it there. And I'm excited to be able to partner with the PUC and the San Francisco Art Commission to, to make that happen. Do you think I, you got to have hope? And are, are things getting better? And do you think this will be a good vehicle to maybe give them something to wrap their arms around and say, hey, we got to get better? Well, it is a hopeful story as it evolved because there are a lot of things going on in the community. But I also wanted to bring light to the blight and some of the real uh, things that go on in the community in a creative way. And there is hope. And I am hopeful for many reasons because I see people rising to the occasion. Uh, I see kids, I see that vibrancy, and, I, and that's where the hope is. Just seeing the young faces and the, and the people and, and just the, the, the life that exists there. So I'm hopeful. Well, you know, we wish you all the best, Kevin. Thanks for coming in. Thank and, you very and much. Best of luck with number two. Will there be a number three? Uh, I'm not sure, but number two this Sunday at the Baby Opera House, please join us. Very good. Kevin's documentary, Straight Out of Hunter's Point, as he just mentioned, will be featured today at the Bayview Opera House for a community screening from 2 until 5. If you'd like more information, please visit bvoh.org. All one word. That's our show. Enjoy your Sunday, everybody, and we'll see you again next week right here on CBS 5.